So as the title title card said, uh, yeah, Medea's big happy family. So let me get to my notes, okay? Yeah, I, I was trying to get. I was so excited about the little side. I thought, you know, I'm gonna talk about that because I wanted to show it off. Been thinking when to how to show it off. Um, so yeah, I was gonna show you my kittens. But at the same time, they're still very tiny, and they're still a bit timid. I was unsure of bringing them in here because my bedroom, like, I don't... Since, you know, kittens are tiny, I didn't want them to get scared and get stuck under the bed. That's already happened once. They didn't get stuck, they just were running away because they got scared. So, when, I, when they get comfortable and all that, I'll show, I'll show the kittens. But, moving on. So, Medea's Big Happy Family. It's based on the play of the same name. Uh, the film was released in the year 2011. It's the fifth Medea film. Directed by Todd Perry. Produced by Todd Perry. And written by Ty for the screen. Keep in mind, he wanted to make sure to say, Hey guys, this film was written for the screen by me. The film had a budget of $25 million And a box office of $54.2 million. So the description of the film was when, or the plot of the film was, when De Medea's niece finds about, well, sorry, when Medea's niece finds about bad news about her health, and her adult children dealing with her their own crisis, it's up to Medea to bring the family together. The cast includes Todd Perry as Mabel, Medea Simmons, and Joe Simmons, Lorette Divin as Shirley, Shade, uh, Shade Bow Wow Moss. As Byron, Tam Tamala Mann as Cora, Cassie Davis as Betty Ann or Aunt, Aunt Bam, Lauren London as Renee, Sean Kane as Kimberly, uh, I think Kim uh, Kimberly, Isaiah Mustafa as Calvin, Natalie. Desley Reed as Tammy. Oh, sorry about that. Ronnie Perry as Harold. David Mann as Mr. Brown. Tion Taylor as Sabrina. Philip Anthony Rodriguez as Dr. Evans. Sandra Crillet as Sister Laura. And Mar Maury Povich as himself. So I gotta say some good things about the film was one thing. They made title sequence is nice. Yeah, I kind of wish I would have liked a, a Medea film with that kind of animation style. That would have been nice. Um, I'm going to give the thing that I hate about this movie. I really hate it. I hated this Sabrina's Byron where she, where she went like, Byron, Byron, <laughs> It was, it was nails and a shock, but it was so annoying. I find it, mm, I hated it. It's just so annoying. I'm not sure if Ty Perry, if Ty, I don't understand like why Ty Perry, what Ty Perry was, was thinking when he wrote that character. I mean, I guess he thought I, I usually have an annoying character in these movies, so I gotta have an annoying character that fits into a subplot somehow. <laughs> Uh, so I gotta say, Aunt Bam gets a few of the funny lines, like, say, when she's smoking weed, she goes, like, say, and when she gets caught smoking weed, she says, like, what, what do you, what do you, what do you think, dude? I'm hunting rabbits. Or when she goes, like, say, or when she's just kind of sexually assaulting the doctor. <laughs> uh, that, yeah, it wasn't funny, but it's, <laughs> when, uh, Brown getting his colonoscopy, when, when he goes, like, say, I have one of them cokes, and he goes, like, say, and he goes, like, say. Green dog and cop. I said, not that in, Mr. Brown. No end. I said, the devil is alive. Not that in. Said, and then the doctor goes, like, pulls on his gloves and goes, like, <laughs> and then Medea running for the restaurant. And the thing is, when she does that, because, like, the Sabrina is going to say, bye, man. She wastes her time until she can no longer get breakfast food. And as a food service person, I'm just saying, like, even though she's the manager, I feel like 
if I if there was another person at that place, I'd be thinking like, I understand that this lady wanted her thing, but it is already past time. But you were on your phone. That's not what you do with the food service. There's a time and place when we can do that. Uh, the men, the men in the film were talking about their problems, but the one thing I'm surprised they weren't doing, they weren't talking about chicks while playing basketball, which happens a lot in faith-based films. You'd be surprised how many, how many faith-based films they do that. Heck, they even did that in, uh, what was it, uh, oh yeah, they did that in the first Medea movie. Joe had two TVs, uh, like one, uh, based on my mom told me, like, say, hey, when one of the TVs goes out, then you have another TV or something like that, and, okay, M Joe's funny times, but that 1-800 choke that hoe, it was funny the first time he said it, then he says it four times in a fight, this joke is over, Todd Perry. You you can you get one you get one joke funny and then you overuse it to the point where it just gets so irritating. <sighs> and I gotta say that I mean, understand that Kimberly is written as like a she's kind of written as like a jerk, but at what point she even disrespects her mom in front of her like a friend of her because she just want to give money. Because uh, to bail Byron out, <laughs> because um, I don't know. It does not really said how why he goes to jail. I guess because he didn't pay his child support at one point or money to give to Sabrina. Oh, when he's also dating another girl named uh, <laughs> Renee, who was just using him to get sex and other stuff. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the characters are just saying she's a hoe. I like when Mindy is uh, dealing with Tammy's kids. Tammy is... Uh, Tammy's kids are just... Wow, they're just... We're just really... I uh, like, around the, both the mom and the dad. Tammy was just... Uh, she was just really mean to Harold. <laughs> and one thing I just... I one thing I feel like, I feel like no one is around Todd Perry, Perry, Todd Perry. like he, he's, he is, he surrounds himself with yes men, or yes ladies, like sometimes he'll, like, the actor goes, hey, okay, Mr. Perry, that's funny, I don't think there's like a writing board where he says, uh, Mr. Todd, Mr. Perry, you got this joke, so like say, when Mindy goes, hello, or goes, hello, or, very good, you sound pretty proper, or, um, now, when you walk in the room, I say, you say, hello, or something like that. It's funny, but when you say it so many times, it gets old. I mean, one of the things about comedy is that you can be repetitive, but in a way, you can say it in a different way. Or in a different, like, it can be said, hello, like when he, Medea is calling on the phone, or when she, when she is talking to the kids. Because it's, you know, it's a little bit funny, but when, if, at times it can get repetitive. Um, then, Med uh, oh yeah, Medina not knowing who, her, who Cora's dad is. The sad music moments return. And it's even subtle, subtler than it is in the previous film. With this song called Tired. It goes like, I'm tired, tired, oh, oh. It's just the sad music Compiled with moments where, like, say, Harold and Tammy are getting better and all that. <coughs> uh, and also, Shirley doing her for therapy. And then Byron uh, about to sell again before he gets the call. That is my, uh, that, uh, yeah, Shirley's not doing good. <sighs> I'm gonna save one good thing. Todd Perry was able to do, I mean, one of the things that you, it's easy to do, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Well, I mean, it can be done, especially in sequences where, like, say, 
like a character is not able to say goodbye in drama films, like when a character is dying and they don't really get to say goodbye. Well, mostly because Kimberly is workaholic and she didn't get to say goodbye to her mom and all that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I mean, in any honestly, any kind of scene where a character is not able to say goodbye to a family member, that stuff gets to me, man. Mostly because, um, I mean, one of my grandmothers, I uh, didn't really get to say goodbye to her. I mean, I got to say goodbye to her whenever, like, they were in the funeral, but I didn't get to say goodbye to her when she was still around because... Last time I saw her, she was all hooked up to machines. She had things in her nose and her mouth, and it scared me, man. It's the kind of thing you don't want to see, but for once, some, I mean, sometimes Starberry has some legitimately dramatic moments in the Midian movie, but sorry, I have to maintain myself. Ugh. Oh. And also, I feel like Tyler Perry knows how to film the, the funeral scene with, um, no, the prayer, the the church scene. That, that sequence was pretty good, too. Made it pretty uplifting. And I, I'm not going to say, okay, the first time you see when, when, uh, uh, Medea's bad-mouthing Maury on, 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 Mr. Brown on Maury is funny. But, I mean, it would have been funnier if all that was uncensored, so you could hear all the creative word, colorful words they use. But, that kind of would have been funnier, but, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I apologize for not getting a bit behind on these. Um, but keep in mind, I'll still, I'll still be getting doing these, you know. Some, but, you know, when I get home, I'll still want, you know, take care of these kittens and all that. But I'll still be doing these videos, yeah. <laughs> but um, but I gotta say, some of the funny moments where like, we've ever seen when seen when Medea goes to the to the restaurant and she attacks the restaurant. Whether she is going to Kimberly's house and goes like, say, I came to ha to your house because I was trying to find you, and no. Cause I had to find you. And he says like, if you do not come to the house, I will drag you by the legs. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny, but at the same time, I gotta say this one was just a hot, was kind, at important points I felt like, okay, this is getting old. It's really getting old. And to be honest, I've only got, I've got Medea's Witness Protection next. Then I've got Medea's, Medea Christmas, and then, let me see, what are the ones I got, what are the ones up next? Let me see, sorry, I should have done this earlier. Uh-huh. Let's look up that Tyler Perry repertoire. Okay. Uh, so after uh, Medea's Witness Protection, I get after Medea's Witness Protection, it was Medea's Tough Love, which he did not direct, and that was also an animated film. But he served as a producer on that one, on that one, and then after the Medea's Tough Love was Boo, Boo Two. And finally, a Medea family funeral. I feel like I'm gonna have to take the comment back where I said about the funeral sequence, like how he can do uplifting. I'm not sure yet. There was, I guess, there was a few reasons why I didn't talk about those in the reviews, but I don't know. But what do you like? Did, did you do you like uh, Medea? Um, Medea's big happy family. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? I think it's okay. At point, certain points, it's intolerably annoying. Like the bite. bite that's, that was annoying. The, uh, the, the characters are just, the, 
the, the male characters, some of them are just pushovers. Some the female characters are just written, so they're just the same. Like, say some of them are just like, I don't know, but I don't know, man. It's just, it's not the best one. Still, the best one is, um, I can do bad on myself. That I still can can say that one's the best. But what are your thoughts? Do you not like it? Do you dislike? What's your favorite Medea movie? Put your thoughts in the comments down below and let me know. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.